It's been nearly two weeks since the Fire the Grid project. I'm starting to notice some things around me, but I think most of it is my own perception of the changes from Fire the Grid, and most of it is too subtle to go into in this video. Perhaps I will on another. This video, my second on the effects of Fire the Grid, will be my thoughts on what to look for in the world around you that are the results of efforts like Fire the Grid. I say efforts like Fire the Grid because I think that this isn't the only reason why these changes are occurring. In fact, it's not the reason at all. It's, it's actually a result of a much larger phenomenon. Overall, humanity is experiencing an awakening of sorts. Fire the Grid was a significant catalyst, a major stepping stone, and a benchmark of this awakening. What we will see in the very near future may be a bit difficult, but because of efforts like Fire the Grid, we will come through it relatively unscathed. There has been tremendous resistance to the changes that are to come. Much of the resistance has been unconscious resistance. Some of it, though, has been very conscious, very aware, and very determined. The unconscious resistance will become more aware. That is a direct effect of efforts like Fire the Grid. As people become more aware, they'll begin to question a lot of what's going on in the world around them. They will begin to cooperate with the awakening that has been going on for decades. The forces that are determined to keep things from changing are, are going to have to resort to desperate measures, and they will, because as things begin to change and, and people are more aware, it's going to be their only recourse is to resort to desperate measures. And that's where our difficulties will come from. The more of us that are cooperating with the changes, the less tragic these difficulties will be. The first step in reducing the impact from the ones that are determined to stop these changes from occurring is to bring the unconscious people into awareness and cooperation. The forces that I speak of will soon be exposed for what they are. And that again is a direct effect of efforts like Fire the Grid. And they won't like this exposure. They will fight to keep themselves where they have always been. In the shadows. Hidden. But I assure you they're very organized and they're in control. And that's one of the reasons why they can stay in control, because they're hidden from us. We don't know about it, but we will. But one thing that's very important is that we have to resist fighting against these forces. Because fighting will only, and I repeat only, give them more power. Fighting will bring us down to their level. We can't win a fight like this. Because once the fight has begun, that's when these forces have won. Once the fighting has begun, all these forces need to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the fruits of their efforts because the fruits of their efforts are death, destruction, misery, and pain. Let's get on with the awakening.